hello guys so this is a quick tutorial on how to cut and sew attachable hip pads it is called attachable hip pads because you can remove it and put it back whenever you feel like please stay tuned and watch till the end because you do not want to miss out on any parts now to begin the main things you need to make this pad is your foam your hand needle scissors thread tape and shock after cutting your foam into four parts trim out the edges of each pad because there is a way you will sew it now, there will be a swelling at the edge of your dress and you do not want that. So you have to trim out the edges very neatly like I've done now. Then cut out the material 2 to 1, 2 to 1. That is 2 materials to 1 foam. Your material is going to be 8 pieces in the exact shape of your foam. After that, we are going to sew the material on the foam. Place the material on one side of the foam and sew it round to the edge. Then trim out the extra allowance after sewing. So this is how it looks like when you are done sewing. Now turn it to the front. So after cutting and trimming, this is how it looks like. The next thing to do is to use your hand needle to attach it to your dress. But remove one inch from the waist just like I've done here before sewing it. You can decide to sew it four times or more than. So this hip pad cutting and sewing is not much of a job. All you have to do is to be able to cut the hip and attach it to your dress, your gown or whatever you're attaching it to. The only stressful part is the trimming of the foam. You can make your hip pad longer in length depending on the height of the person you are making it for. Do the same for the front, use your needle to attach it and sew it round. So I'll be making another video on this hip pad, but this time it's going to be hip and butt padding. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can click on the subscribe button for you to be notified anytime I post new videos. Please like the video, share and feel free to comment. See you in my next video and thanks for watching.